Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. The fall of Afghanistan had special significance for the champion swimmer Abbas Karimi as he led the Parade of Nations into the stadium at the opening ceremony of the Paralympic Games in Tokyo. This photo was taken by Chang Lee for the New York Times. It shows Karimi, a refugee from Afghanistan, during practice last week at the Games. One of six athletes competing for the Paralympic refugee team, Abbas fled Afghanistan when he was 16, lived in Turkey, and eventually settled in the United States. This image gives us a figure standing in for all refugees and certainly connotes the experiences of Afghan refugees right now. And so the power of that image of him leading the refugee team into the Paralympics couldn't have been more timely. Yeah, the long focus also seems particularly appropriate for the long road that Abbas has traveled and for all the perspective the photo brings. Visually, there's a lot happening here with blue, isn't there? We have the blue of the pool. We have the blue of all of the various colors of the games and the branding behind him. We have the blue of his bathing suit as well. And as a color, you know, blue connotes sea and sky. It references ideas about freedom and confidence. Images from the Paralympics invite us to think about war, actually, and to think about war in a couple of different ways. We are invited to think about refugees of war and terrorism, and also Also, we're invited to think about war in the context of many military veterans who took up adaptive sports as a result of being injured in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. For example, this year's Team USA includes 18 veterans and three active duty military members. There's a very close historical relationship between the military and the Paralympics. And in this moment in Afghanistan, images like this of Karimi and other athletes really invite us to think about that relationship. Karimi himself has this wonderful will and spirit that everyone who works with him is quick to point out. One of his coaches said that he could see the incredibly motivated Abbas as a superhero, that he's kind of a mixture of Aquaman, Superman, and Spider-Man. We do a lot of thinking about photographs, but what's just as important is how people respond to photographs emotionally, viscerally, and temporally. And looking at this photograph at the same time that the United States is withdrawing from Afghanistan, leaving behind its 20 years of wreckage, and knowing that Karimi escaped the country, it really collapses the experience of the photograph and all of those facts into one. 